He is known as the Allfather, the prime mover in the Norse realm. Odin is the primary antagonist in God of War Ragnarok. Here is a complete story of all of his scenes. We get to see his machinations behind the scenes, him trying to be a father figure for Atreus, and then ultimately the efforts he puts in place to try to stop Ragnarok. This is the story of Odin. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. You're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home? Kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tear's old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> That's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe it without you? What have your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? No. Don't take all day. Change your bastard!
The door didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Namir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Tyr? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're- Ahem, brothers. With Fimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-wise men belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. Hmm. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. You don't miss a scrap. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn. Hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran top shot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Yeah. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. 
I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that you, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me, not yet. But he's got some very big questions, and I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, no, Father. Oh, no. Java. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here! <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. How'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. That well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, Meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, yeah, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gna. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie Queen. 
Great soldiers, these ain't hairy are, but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Form. Moon the Nafen, Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erland, try to stay awake for me. OK. But look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all oh, father. Sir? <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good. OK, so I'm going to let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. 
Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since... Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Mm. You're welcome. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. Or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, Father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Loki, the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. 
We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that. And I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy, getting personal. No, I get it, but it's nothing like that. It's, well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands, and I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. So, about the sword. Is Ingrid the name of the soul inside it? I wonder why I can't hear her. Soul? Who said anything about... Look, son, some free advice. You don't want to let anyone catch you talking to your sword. All right? That's a bad look. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands, I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what? What kind of God is that? 
Where are your toes? What do you even know of Godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Okay, come here. Finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me. Things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lao should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mirror said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Damn, he's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. 
after the Allfather sent him away, sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Secured the item we've discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, <laughs> they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along and play. Maybe if we just stare at him and say nothing, he'll get the hint and leave. Oh, just tell me what happened already. Not until he leaves. I know you're listening, Loki. I won't be but a moment. Go away. He said go away. Are you really that dense? I'm not joking, son. Go. I'll be along shortly. Well, now, this is just getting weird. Did you know he was this weird when you invited him? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. OK, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Need to go. And Loki, 
When you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But... It's complicated? <laughs> Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Atreus, I do not want you to feel alone. But your decision to go to Asgard helped me understand. Odin doesn't want Ragnarok. I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok happen either. I would have helped you. I know, but... Wait, he's right here! You're back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through, I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Mimir, Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. 
Mass probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. Amir, why doesn't Thor look like he did in that statue we saw in the lake? Back when it was still a lake. It did at first. Then Thor saw it. The second sculptor was a great deal more complimentary. Guess that explains why Odin's statue doesn't quite look like him either. <laughs> Mimir, I'm not sure how to ask this. There are stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye, where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things he'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lad, they lie. They do it on principle, no issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. Ymir, when I was in Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjot. He seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye. That was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. So I wouldn't be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean... Everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean... You know, he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I... I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else. Entirely, I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. Yes, you too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. It's here. Loki, we did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. 
Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? My father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, you stand now! Sentry better be right. Where are you? I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But... If you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please. Just think about it. Oh, don't look at me to come mastermind your schemes. But I'll listen as soon as you got what you need here. Kratos, what do you think? This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> hmm. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me. But if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? Lax! Not that a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? 
Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Brock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. You never shut up. Run. All the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me. Tell your brother to throw me the mask, and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies. Now, now. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you'll regret. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Lushwasson! I am in control! Here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done, and I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Bro. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. daughter my son calls her friend if you try to hurt her i would not don't you know what i've done yes But what will you do now? We don't change. I destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children. We must be better. Why 
Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Go, go, go. Your own son? You played her! What? Sue's gonna be fine. I saved her. Thor! That was on you! You turned him against me! You turned them all against me! Oh, no! 
shield if you're not going to use it. Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh, oh. What? Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! <laughs> That's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know... You've never loved anyone! Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Roa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! So be it. You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Chris? So have I! Too late for that! Look for help! Fly! <laughs> 
back at you. What did you call me? That one for drunk. our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu. Sofna. Hithan. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters.
I won't Through. have Rock. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. This place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. Your master is no more. Be at peace. Oh! Have it your way, then. That's an elf, but not a particularly high-ranking one. So what did Odin have to gain by imprisoning them? I'd say information, but why keep them locked up afterward? Why not just kill them? Careful, brother. These prisoners may not be as grateful for their freedom as one would hope. Oh, well, you're very bloody well. <laughs> Freya, I can't believe it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tyr. Is this an illusion? No, brother. No, I think it's the real deal. Namir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, I. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done... Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are. His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. You believe that was truly him? It's hard to trust anything after what we've been through. But with Odin gone, no cause to doubt it. Our paths will cross again. Of that, I'm sure. <clears throat> Why, that's the dwarven sound device Sindri used during the Battle of Ragnarok. We might still find use for it yet. Well, now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. <laughs> <laughs>